Hello there, loyal viewers. This is the VGamer X. I'm back with some more Red Dead Revolver. Last time we left off, we got started on Red's old backstory here. We're, we shot up a bunch. We shot up an entire town. I mean, I would take. I mean, we rescued a train. And did we make it back to town safely? You the bounty hunter? Sure, partly. I got your telegram. Mighty grateful to you. <laughs> I may have some work for you. Stop by my office later. <laughs> Hmm. What are we all about? Excuse me for a second. Sorry about that. I adjust my camera. What's up? What's up, kid? Offers five thousand dollar prize to the quickest draw in the territory. <clears throat> Sounds like fun. I hear you've saved the life of Sheriff O'Grady this morning. That poor town's just a hotbed of trouble recently. That's a fix. <laughs> So it looks like there's a so it looks like there's a bit more of a free roam aspect in this part, right, at least in this level right here. Well, I do declare, I had me such a fright the other day. One of my little ones got to drinking some liver medicine I bought from a traveling salesman. You guys up to any trouble? Trouble? There was some fancy pants Englishman in town just the other day claiming he was a famous trick shooter. I already read all about it. What's going up here in the bank? Good day to you, sir. Can't say I've seen you before. Are you new in town? If you are, you'd best talk to Mr. Peabody. Alright, Peabody. What's up? Hello there, sir. If you're looking to take out a mortgage on some property, or even cash a promissory note, you came to the right place. Oh, I can... Oh, dang. Uh, well, I am... <clears throat> I am way below... Getting by in a saloon. Sorry, sir, I appreciate your time. See the theater, the sheriff. Okay, this is how I continue the next chapter. So I guess... So if anything, so if anything, it, I'm guessing this is place is gonna be like a little hub, where I can like do stuff to get guns and money. If you're as good a bounty hunter as O'Grady says you are, you could help me with a couple of real outlaws wreaking havoc in my territory. It'd be worth a pretty penny to you. You might want to start with Big Josh. He's one crazy outlaw and circus freak. Just be careful. He's got a hankering for dynamite. Oh, you might want to keep your eyes out for some English fella. He don't know what a motley crew he keep in company with. All right, got myself some bounties to hunt. <clears throat> you got a hankering for dynamite, huh? Well, how about I get some and a new and a new breech loader? Hmm, let's see how well this goes. Wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> Gotta love that sound. That guy was just trying to bait me in. What the hell? 
Are you shooting a bunch of Jawas? Take the cow, win the prize. Nope, you're gonna die. Hey, you, come out here. Yeah. <clears throat> so even though there's a bit of a hub world, from what I overall heard about this game from my brother, he said that this game is actually pretty straightforward. Like, it's not like it's not like the GTA series games, which like I guess I would have thought from after playing um because I had a feeling with like when I first played Zone of the Enders, I was expecting it to be like super long, like a million solid game. And while the cutscenes themselves are pretty lengthy, it's like the game. Well, it the games themselves are actually not that long. Jack's in a cage. Free him. If you just shoot the lever on the side of the cage. Who needs hands? I got a gun. You good? I'm guessing there's more where they came from. I've got contraptions to make short work of them. I'll cover you. Fighting Cowboy Joker. Oh, hell yeah. Also, I don't know why, but that shot of him just like, just him like sliding out with holding the two pistols like that was kind of funny. It looks kind of funny to me. I'm a gentleman. I, I hold my pistols like so. Also, like Cowboy Joker. I, I wonder if that's been like a thing in the comments of like, cow, like, Joker and Batman, like, old western times. Like, we've had, like, Batman Ninja, is there Batman Cowboy? Hey, die. Die, clown. Oh, shoot. Sorry, sir. You see that little like pew from from this Gatling gun. I guess I now get out of this. Where are you at, buddy? I'll come and save you. Stick him like a pig. All right, we good here? <laughs> so I guess we'll go if you notice on me. I can do some little pig sticking. Gets you good. It's like su It's like with, all, with like the bombs on. It's like sundowner from Only Gear Rising. You got any health pickups on you? We'll just camp them from here. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't get me. Oh! <laughs> Oops. Oh, no. 
Ah, uh, me and my big fat mouth. Is my mouth fatter than him, though? Get me! All right, get up! Ah! Uh -huh. Dang it! Of course I had to reload. All right, camp in the rooftop. They doing me any good? Cause he'll. He's smart enough to know what splash damage is. Nope. You ain't taking me alive, piggy boy. Oh, no. Dang it, I was smashing the button. <sighs> Been a while since I've played, and yeah. I think I can skip that. And the boss fight's already doing me in. Try switching back to this. Yeah, I, I, that was my fault right there. I feel like this feels like end and Eddie music I'm listening to right now, fighting this guy. It's, it just makes it funnier. Ah. <clears throat> Thought I made a fool of him, but it was me who made a fool of myself. Plus, I think I might have lost him. He might have lost me, so maybe he's gonna leave himself over to get stunned. Oh, shoot! Nope, he found me first. How am I still alive? Ah, dang it. Okay, I think I figured out the timing of this fight a bit. I just gotta let him get near me, and then... Come here. Come here, piggy. Sweet, sweet, sweet! Ow. Now that one was my fault. I dodged in the wrong place. Like that? Yeah, so as long as I don't dodge in the wrong place, I, I can get him. Hmm. 
Come on. Get capped, pig Josh. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on. That's a ring out. Honor rules, goddammit. Come on. Go boom. Was I not hitting him that time? timing. But on And again, dodge at our wrong spot. Come on, let's get back out in the open. Come Back up, get us some shots in him. Right in the hooves. I just noticed his pants, he looks like he's wearing on Tien's pants. And I have screwed myself yet again. <sighs> you can tell this has been a while because I'm back here and I'm, and I'm already at a boss fight that's kicking my butt. Okay, my health is kind of low, but I found out apparently this area where the Gatling gun is, you can kind of cheese him. Uh, you ain't getting me. Because I, I came to this area because I thought to myself, I wonder if there's a way I can mess with this AI and use the Gatling gun on him. Nope, you can, I can't. I can't. But apparently, you can lose them easily with here. And voila! I just made that fight easier than I was making it look. Thank you, sir. Your help has been immensely appreciated. If I can be of any assistance whatsoever, do not hesitate to call upon me. Now, if you'll excuse me. I have a certain debt to collect from Professor Perry and his circus crew. Good day to you. Calling him? Uh, do I get like partners? And take to me to the fights? I died plenty of times and I still got an excellent. I guess, and again, I guess it's because the winning, it only counts as the winning run, which is that case. Like I said, I figured out a way to make that fight much more easier than I originally made it look.